Hello and welcome back. I'm Christy, the voice behind Crafty Christy's Creation Silhouette Studio Tutorials, which is a subset of Crafty Christy's Creations How To videos. This is the place to find step by step directions on how to do all the things in Silhouette Studio. Whether you're a beginner or needing a little refresher, this is the place for you. So grab your computer and open Silhouette Studio. It's time to dive into another episode. Today, we are going to go over using the pick scan mat. I will be stamping an image onto paper, putting an offset on the image, and then cutting it out on the Silhouette Cameo machine. This is a great way to make your stamps more versatile and then you don't have to fussy cut them. So I will be using stamps from Life's Special Moments is a set made by Stampin' Up. We've got the Bride and Groom, which is a pretty simple stamp. And then we have the Bouquet of Flowers, which has a lot more detail to it. So I'll show you the differences between these two designs. I'll be using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink, which is one of my favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp down the Bouquet of Flowers. You ink up your stamp. You want to stamp it really well. I like to press and hold for a little bit to make sure I have a nice even stamp. And you want to lay it on your paper and then with nice even pressure all the way around the stamp. You'll notice this red pad that I have under my piece of paper. That just uh, helps get a more crisp stamp because it has a little cushion to it. So when you press into the paper, it gives it a, uh, has a little give. And then the next one here, we're gonna do the same thing. Just ink it up really well, place it on there, and then try to give even pressure. And then I like to hold for a little bit to give the ink some time to transfer from the stamp to the paper. All right, let's talk pick scan map. It has registration marks already built in, in the corners, so that's those little dashes and squares. And then you've got this big box in the middle and that's where the sticky part is. Anything that you wanna cut needs to stay within that sticky box. That is your cutting mat area. Uh, anything that goes outside of that box will not be read and it'll have a hard time reading the registration marks. So I'm gonna put my piece of paper on the middle there and make sure it's nice and stuck on there. And then what you're gonna do is set up to take a photo. So you wanna be centered above the entire mat and you wanna get the entire mat in your photo. So even if you get some of the background in your photo, that's fine because if you cut off those registration marks in your photo, then um, when you go to load it to Silhouette, it's not gonna be able to read it well. So here is the photo that I am going to be sending to Silhouette. I'm going to take my photo and I will meet you at Silhouette. Okay, I have already emailed the photo from my phone to myself, opened the email on my computer, downloaded the photo to my computer, and now I am going to upload it to Silhouette Studio. So we're using PicScan, so we're gonna go over to the, the right side and hit the open PicScan panel. Here I'm going to import PicScan image from file. And I'm going to find the file and hit open. It's already calibrated with my phone. You only have to do that once. And now it's gonna show up with my image on here. All right, so now what you want to do is go to the trace panel, select trace area, and then I'm just gonna do one image at a time in case I need to change some of the settings. Going to increase my threshold a little bit here just to make sure we get a very nice trace. Oh, 
And then I'm also going to increase my Despeckle threshold. And my scale. And then I'm going to hit Trace Outer Edge. So you can see where the red line is. It's just tracing the outer edge of my image. And now I'm going to do the same thing with my other image. Turning up the threshold a little bit. And that actually looks good. And again, I'm going to hit Trace Outer Edge. So you can see it's only, it's not tracing everything. And some of this I can tell I'm going to need to go back and fix a little bit. Alright, we have those two done. Now what we want to do is go to the offset panel and click offset. Nope, I think we have to select our image first. And then I'm going to offset. And if you want a very tight cut, I like it at 0 0.03 is a pretty tight cut. So I'm going to leave it at that. And I like my corners rounded. I'm going to hit apply. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my other image. Offset. Point oh three. apply. Alright, so now you need to come in here and get rid of the original trace. Come and get rid of the original trace. And then all you're left with is the offset that goes around the outside. There are little pieces on here I'm going to release the compound path of the offset so these little pieces that I don't want to cut out in my stamp image I'm going to click and click delete that one I think I'm going to leave now I'm going to get rid of that one too I'm going to leave that one. This piece here looks like a little stamp error. I'm going to let it cut this piece out and then I will fix Sorry, that. I missed that. And then on this one I'm going to do the same thing. Release compound path. And then I'm going to delete some of these extra pieces that I don't want cut. Just remember wherever there's a red line it's going to cut. So we can get rid of these pieces and then the rest of it we're going to have to do some point manipulation. Because this one is different, because all of these pieces don't touch, we're going to have to do a little more work. So double click and then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click on each little piece and I'm going to delete the points let it go around this middle part of her dress to get rid of this cut line because that I don't want. So 
Sometimes this takes a little while. If you had a more solid image, like our flowers, you can see that that went a lot faster. We didn't have to do a lot of other manipulation. And then if you mess up, you can come up here and hit undo. I want that one. Let's get rid of these ones in here that I know I don't want. And then we may just have to select that small area, zoom in so we can see, make sure it got filled correctly. I'm gonna get rid of this little spot because I want that smooth. Same with this one. Smooth those edges out. And then you'll get a nice even cut all the way around your designs when you do it this way. I'm gonna zoom out a little. That looks better. Let's look at this one now. That looks okay. It's going to cut up in there. So when I'm done, what I think I will probably do, actually we can do it right here. Let's click those. Let's zoom into this area. Because I think this little part here is a smudge or maybe something that's left on my mat. I'm going to do a little trick here. On this one, I'm going to break path. So when you break a path, oh, it didn't work. Nope. Break path. It's supposed to open. There we go. Now it opened. And then this one, I'm going to break path right here. Break path. You have to break at two points. And then it will open up. Nope. And then I'm going to join these paths together. And say convert to path. Convert to path. And then we can just, oops, undo that little move. Double click again. I'm going to delete this one. Delete point. And then you can take this little arrow here and smooth that out a little more. Delete point. This point here, I'm going to bring up to here. Convert to path. So those should go, those did not connect. You have to get the anchor points right on top of each other to convert. And I struggle with that. Close enough, it'll cut, it'll be fine. All right, let's go back to the mat size. Now we have lines that cut through that. They cut around both of our shapes. I already have it loaded and facing up, just like it shows here. So this is what you put into the machine. I have it loaded correctly. I'm cutting on normal cardstock. And as you can see, the red line, which is the offset that we added, is where it's going to cut. Playing cardstock, I've got the correct cut settings. And then I'm going to hit send.
And here's the finished product. As you can see, there is a white gap around the edge of the stamped image. It's not 100% perfect, but it's better than if I would have fussy cut it and this was a lot faster. So to recap, we went over how to take a stamped image, use your pick scan mat, and to cut it out with a little offset around the image. Thanks for sticking with me till the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please click like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future crafty hacks and tips. Until next time, with love, Crafty Christy.